Bright suns, everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today, we're going to Disneyland Resort for the first time in like four months. <laughs> Yay, I'm so <laughs> excited. I know, Downtown Disney is open, so we're gonna go there, see the security procedures, Ooh. see what has changed. Is there any construction? Is there new merch? Yeah, the merch, you guys. Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> So close, so far away. This reminds me of when we used to go to the parking garage and like look at construction. Yeah. Like it's right there. Oh, <laughs> I was just thinking, I wonder if they're gonna have any Galaxy's Edge merchandise like for sale in Downtown Disney. I don't know. I don't know. So Downtown Disney is open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And you park in the Simba parking lot I mean, normally we would go and park at the Disneyland parking lot and use our annual passes to get complimentary parking, but pass, uh, parking is complimentary because it's just this downtown Disney district open and not the parks. Kind of like City Walk. So there's a lot more people here than I was expecting, to be honest. Doesn't seem like it's too, too crazy. I kind of expected it to be busy today because yeah. the opening of Disney Springs in Florida was hella busy. There's a line to get in here. That stretches all the way from the parking lot. I will say too, this line has like been non-stop moving since we got here. Yeah. So I feel like that's a good sign. I'm betting you this line is not gonna be a normal thing here. I feel like this is just like an opening day. So many locals are excited to get back into downtown Disney. If not, I can give you one. We want you to have one that goes over your ears, of course. Apparently these gator style masks are not allowed in Disneyland property. So I'm gonna have to wear a mask that goes over my ears. Thankfully, Kitra has brought a mask. We're about to go through the temperature checks. Seems like a pretty smooth process, just like a city walk. Go ahead and come on up to Roma right there. Do you mind if I move your hair? Your hair oh, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, so much. Thank you. Go ahead and take your temp. That was different. They have security dogs. Of course, they have a hand sanitizer, a bunch of them when you first walk in. Surprised that they're still doing bag checks, but I mean, that was a very, very fast process. Like you slid it under, they have like plexiglass, and then you just open your bag, give it to them, they look real quick and give it back to you. They have a cool selfie wall in front of where the old ESPN zone is. And it has like this blue Disneyland castle, which I think is kind of the aesthetic for like the 65th anniversary. Yeah, I mean, I've seen very limited of what the merch is going to be, but I think that's like the vibe. Yeah. So that makes sense. Hopefully we can find some of that merch today. Yeah. Ooh, a hand washing station. Let's wow. do it. Yeah, do it. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. Gladly. I'm going to make you guys watch the whole 20 seconds. <laughs> Want to get right in between. <laughs> Also worth noting, over there at the old AMC theaters, they have some socially distant tables. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm touching the trash can. That's weird because in Disney World, they have all the trash cans propped open. They're like blaring Disney music. It's making me a little bit emotional. <laughs> It's, uh, it's good to be back. Very similar to the City Walk reopening. It seems like they're kind of doing a phase, slow reopening here at Downtown Disney. Not everything is open yet. For example, the Jazz Kitchen is still closed. Tortilla Joe's. I was Joe's. hoping we could get some beignets. I know, well, I really wanted Tortilla Joe's to get some guacamole and a margarita, but they're still closed, unfortunately. We'll just have to keep coming back, I guess, until everything opens. Oh, well. <laughs> the Disney Home Store even has a line here. Crazy. Never thought I'd be so excited to see the Rise of the Resistance Honda Odyssey minivan it's still here <laughs> in the <laughs> Esplanade. Oh, how I've missed you, my Rise of Resistance minivan. 
No one hug it. I know. Don't touch. No touching. Keep going. Right now you are in line to add yourself to the mobile uh, mobile waiting list, and at that point you will then be directed after you receive your text message to return. You have 30 minutes to come back to join the physical queue. Do you have any idea how long the wait is? None at all. We're all in a great experiment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see how long this actually takes. Right now it is 10.34 in the morning. I guess stay tuned to find out. <laughs> so to be clear, right now we are in line to get into the virtual queue for World of Disney. <laughs> this is kind of insane because the line stretches the entire Esplanade. It goes in front of Disney California Adventure, zigzags all the way across the Esplanade, and then ends where the fountain is where people are taking your number so that they can text you when your spot is ready. I didn't think it was gonna be quite this long, but it seems to be like constantly moving. So we just gotta be positive. I do wish I had a coffee though. One of the big changes is the Void store in downtown Disney is closed and also the one in Disney Springs is closed. It's not just for COVID, it's closed forever. So I don't know what happened there. There was some kind of like licensing disagreement or something. Oh my God, look at Disney California Adventure. Nobody's in there. Look, they, they installed some, some plexiglass for the ticket takers. That's interesting. I feel like everybody's just happy to be here. All the cast members, everybody's just in a great mood. Maybe it's the Disney music playing. Maybe it's the Disneyland is within reach. Right there. Disneyland's so close. It's okay. It'll be there for whenever it reopens. I'm just happy to be right here for the time being. So we've been in line for like 10, 15 minutes. The entire line in Esplanade has disappeared in that time. <laughs> yeah. So I think we were just the idiots that ran over here to go to World of Disney. I I'm guessing if you end up coming to Downtown Disney that you won't have to deal with this line stuff. This is just what us crazy people do, yeah. right? Yeah. I feel like I need to buy something now. So that took us 20 minutes. We gave them our phone number. Now we're playing the waiting game of waiting to be called in so we could actually enter World of Disney. See how long that takes. On all the benches, they have signs telling you to maintain physical distancing. Oh, is it physical or is it social distancing? I think it's both. Disney could call it whatever they want and we'll listen to them. <laughs> so if, if they want to call it physical, if we want to call it social, it's all the same thing. Finally getting my Starbucks. This line is moving slower than that line that we were just in, believe it or not, people. Priorities. I feel like I need my coffee, you know what I mean? I'm one of those like, don't talk to me until I had my coffee. <laughs> While waiting in line for Starbucks, we just ran into an ordinary adventurer named Rosemary that was wearing an ordinary adventure, actually this t-shirt right here. Ordinary adventure t-shirt. That actually like broke my brain. Seeing somebody wearing one of our t-shirts, yeah. I don't think we've ever seen that before. Out, no, we, out we, out. We, we get like lots of photos of people who are wearing our t-shirts, but I've never actually seen someone in public. That's so cool. Rosemary, you're awesome. All of you guys are awesome. I'm just so happy. So it is very socially distant in here. They have little green squares that they want you to stand on while you're waiting for your order. They have plexiglass in between you and everyone else. It's very nice, and they're keeping a very, very small capacity of people in here, so it's not like too overwhelming. I feel very safe, very comfortable. It was totally worth waiting for, right, Peter? <laughs> I am sweating so much right now. Well, this air conditioning, like that's another benefit. It's so nice and cool in here, both for me. <laughs> Tricked you. <laughs> Take this thing off. Cheers. Cheers, my love. I know, getting this off my face, it was like stuck to my face. I had to like rip it off. Mm. Five out of five Peters. Yeah, five out of five. The iced coffee at Starbucks, highly recommend. <laughs> I love it. And it's one of the cheapest options too. I've been thinking this whole time, like this is like good practice for the theme parks. Like being, yeah. being patient, waiting in lines. And it's, it's hard. I will, this like mask break is like well needed. So I hope Disney at some point like rethinks the gators because I feel like those are more protected. Like when I wear my mask, there's space for air to come out of, but the gator, it's like traps. It is like skin tight. We're gonna have to get you a mask in World of Disney. I think that's the only <laughs> solution. 
You need, that's the, gonna you, be need better? That, you need that Winnie the Pooh mask. You think I'll like that better no. than? Because no. it barely fits my head and uh, you've got a way bigger head than me. No offense. Now please, the pizza place, they are open. So that's good to know. Downtown Disney is getting a new shoe and sandal place called California Soul, pun intended. <laughs> Why is it that Disney Springs has all the cool stores and we get like the lame sandal store? We're standing right by Salt and Straw, which is open. And I just want to tell you, I could smell like the ice cream and the waffle cones like through my mask. And it's like making my mouth water. It smells so good. Disneyland plaids are patrolling the area. They're making sure that everybody's standing six feet apart in lines, making sure that everything's safe. We're trying to maintain the six feet. Oh, yeah, just be a little more aware of that. That's my job today. So right now we're waiting in line for the Wonderground Gallery, which is one of my favorite stores here at Downtown Disney. It's where they have all the cool custom, like screen printed, limited edition art. You know, as you've seen from our house <laughs> we love custom limited edition screen printed art and we love disney but it also has like a long line we've been in line for like 20 minutes so yeah. oh my god look at this no. it's all like the tiki drinks from like trader what? sam they have your pina clava oh yeah that's peter's favorite drink actually you know i was just noticing these are all drinks from trader sam's and i think that's actually the prana pool Oh. I think it's a very close drink to the pina colada, yeah. but that seems like out of all those drinks, that's the one you would order from Trader Sam's. Huh? How, how cool is that though? It's awesome. I love that. The design on t-shirts, they have little postcards, notebooks. I notice they still have this Haunted Mansion mystery box by Jared Mariyama, and they have the chair. So if you guys are thinking to yourself, I still want to get that chair. You still have, I feel like I almost want to get one just to see if I get the chair again, <laughs> but I'm not. We love Jared. His artwork is amazing. <laughs> I've never seen that before. They have this awesome Chippendale piece of artwork. It's like my two favorite things, Disneyland treats and Chippendale. I feel like this is the most beautiful piece of art I've ever seen. Oh, this is a cool piece. It's by Her Universe. It's called Sisters of the Force and it is all the Star Wars females, good and bad, it, but it's like star constellations. I got my text from World of Disney. It only took like an hour and a half, almost two hours. But let's go. So we ran all the way over to the World of Disney store and now we're in another line. Yeah. Lines on lines on lines on lines. I'm here for the lines. I don't know what you're here for. The lines. We should just like title this, the name of this video like lines and that's it. We're having a great time, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the music is helping. Yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. I love Woo! this. Yeah. All right, right here as the line Thank progresses, you. you guys are officially checked in. Yeah. Enjoy, all right? Thank you. The longest line that we waited for was for my dang coffee and the coffee is kicking in and I am ready for World of Disney. Yay! We're here! We're finally inside. <laughs> Again, they have all your Onward merchandise. Oh my God, look at this t-shirt. That's kind of funny. That's awesome. Remember this guy or girl? I remember her. <laughs> I do. We already found some new merchandise. It looks like the unicorn from Inside Out. I'm blanking on her name, but she was the best character, in my opinion, of Inside Out. They have a unicorn lounge fly bag. I like how the zipper is rainbow colored. It's kind of cool. No. Peter, I think it's time you get your first lounge fly backpack. What do you think? Would that be a good one? No? Okay, well, there goes your Christmas present. Before Disney Resort shut down, they started coming out with this ink and paint collection. And we got some of it before they shut down Disneyland, but now like they have a whole huge area over here show, showcasing some of this. I like the Sorcerer Mickey lounge fly. Yeah, I like that one too. I like that one a lot. And I feel like I don't have a Mickey one yet, so that's on my list of uh, dream backpacks. It's very, very awesome. What is this? An artist palette magnetic toothpick holder set. Um, 
I don't know. You ever, you never want to display your tooth, toothpicks in an artistic way? I mean, who doesn't... I really don't know. I was going to say maybe it's shot glasses or... It is very cute, whatever it is. I'm, I'm not quite sure. They're right before all the closures. They came out with all these awesome mugs and now throws and stuff with all the letters of the alphabet and then stuff pertaining to that. K, King Arthur's Carousel, maybe? I think so. Very cool. Let's find the P mug. What, what would you think is on the P mug if you Probably had to guess? Probably Peter Pan. Probably Peter Pan. You were right for the Peter Pan ride. So it looks like it's all based on like attractions and stuff inside of Disneyland. That's so cool. I love that. Look at Tomorrowland. Oh yeah. If your name starts with a T, you got lucky. Found your section. Found my section. I was like wondering. I'm like, where is the Baby Yoda section? It is right here with the rest of the Star Wars stuff. The child. See, how much cuter is the spirit jersey that for kids. That is so much cuter than the adult spirit jersey. What if they had one the size of a dog like that? That would be incredible. I mean, we could always get that and like modify it somehow. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work and way too expensive. So many. <laughs> they have so, so many of these terrifying Baby Yoda plush dolls. Remember when you couldn't find Baby Yoda anywhere? Yeah, now they've got stacks and stacks and stacks but i feel like nobody wants this one they got plenty here though if you haven't gotten yours yet this little outfit for babies looks like a baby yoda like beanie and then like his little outfit that he wears as the onesie i like that that's cool bigfoot old yoda over here in the corner wishing he were young so that people would buy him <laughs> should we get one so he doesn't feel neglected i feel like nobody cares about regular yoda anymore no you don't want to get one if you guys saw our video from the other day where we went to the Disney store opening in the mall where they sold these masks, they also, of course, sell them here at the World of Disney at Downtown Disney. They have way more of a selection here, and it looks like you get, get four for 20, which, not a bad deal, or they're $6 each. And for the masks, they still do not have extra large, but they're coming, so when they come, I'll buy a Baby Yoda extra you large. Will? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I want them all, it's a problem. I feel like masks are like my new fashion accessory. I think one of the things besides Downtown Disney opening that's got people excited is all of the 65th Disneyland anniversary merch is out already. I think it, the rest of it will be available online on July 17th, which is Disneyland's actual birthday. It's when they hope to open the park. It's, when, the, it's when they want, were planning to open the park, but they have all the merch already in stock. I saw this online and I was like, eh, it's okay. But seeing it in person, it is like completely covered in sparkles. It has the Disneyland castle, it says Disneyland Resort. And then on the back, it says the happiest place on earth. I kind of love it and I didn't <laughs> think I would. I don't know when I transitioned into like loving spirit jerseys, but I don't know, I really like this one. I love like the dark blue color. I just love how sparkly it is. I think another item that people are going to freak out over are these Mickey, are these mini ears? I guess they're mini ears, right? Yeah. They're sparkly. On the side it says 65 years of magic. Looks like a... <laughs> it wouldn't be an ordinary adventure vlog if you didn't try to almost drop something. This is a puzzle. We're not the biggest puzzle people, but I actually really like the design of this. Being in this section is really, really overwhelming because there's so many things. Like, whatever you want, they've got it. You want a picture frame, they got it. You want a skirt, they got it. You, you want, want a hat? A John Lasker button up t uh, shirt, they got it. Yeah, so you want it, they got it. I really am digging this puzzle. I wish they had this, like a print of this. The one thing that's missing is I saw online that there was this awesome lounge fly backpack, but I think that sold out like super quick. Darn. Oh my God, have you seen? Yeah, I, I kind of want it. I think that's, it's awesome, but then people are gonna see into your purse. That's fine, I have nothing, I have like a Baby Yoda wallet. I have cool stuff in my bag. I love the neon wow, straps. Look how awesome, even like, yeah. It has like the Disneyland kind of like embroidered on there. You need that. I do need this. It's $75. Like I thought maybe it might be a little bit cheaper because it's- No, it has ears. Yeah. Anything with ears. 
Should I get it? Yes. Okay. My one purchase. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get it. This backpack actually is part of like a summer collection. It's all bright neon colors like this. Unfortunately, they only have the backpack and then they have a few items for children. They don't have like the full collection here yet, which I was really looking forward to, but I'm just happy they have the backpack. But I wouldn't mind a matching t-shirt eventually. They're still promoting the heck out of the move on merchandise. Another line of merchandise that hit right before everything shut down were these ear headbands and spirit jersey and they were like flying off the shelves right before everything got like the gates went up and no one could come in. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. I guess it's... Maybe it's a keychain? I think we've reached peak cuteness. <laughs> I don't need it, but I'm sure someone out there does. What do you even put in it? I guess you could put like your hand sanitizer. Yeah, you could put hand sanitizer. You could put candy. You could put pressed pennies or pins. I don't know. Whatever you want. The, the world is yours. Oh my gosh. I saw this one online. How cute is this? A lounge fly with all of the Disney dogs. It's got little dog ears. It's got a dog collar. I love that. Oh, they have a cat one too. All the Disney cats and it has the cat ears. That's so fun. I'm not sure if it's just that we haven't been here for four months, but I see these new, these Haunted Mansion ears and I think they're new. They have like the bus and they have like super stylized drawings on the ears. I think they're pretty neat. And they glow in the dark, which is like the coolest thing about them. Yeah. I like those. I was kind of afraid when we came to the Esplanade and there was that long line, but I'm kind of surprised at how few people they have let in World of Disney. It feels very spacious. I don't feel unsafe at all. People are trying their best to keep their distance while trying to look, look, look at the same merchandise. So thumbs up to Disneyland. I think we're gonna call it a day. It's getting hot. The crowds are still very crowded. <laughs> we, we were hoping to eat something somewhere and do a, a, you know, a food review, but there's just too, too long of a line. Yeah, that just means that we have to come back. So there's a lot yeah. of stuff that we still have not done. Yeah, a lot of stuff we haven't done. There's gonna be stuff reopening. So we will be, we, <laughs> We will be back for sure. We're going to put some of our previous shopping adventures right over there. Yeah, check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.